Good morning, everybody. Working on getting to us. I am getting there. Slow but sure. There we are. Turn the volume down. Get the link out. It is cold again here. It's going to be cold again. Craziness. No snow, but lots of rain coming. Good morning, Ellen and Dieta and Letizia and Lisa. Okay. We shall do this. Good morning, Susie and CJ and Carol and Stacy and Sandy and Ruth Ann and Jackie and Renata and Jan Marie and Johanna. Oh my gosh, I missed so many in one minute. And Karen and Melissa and Bev. Hello. Welcome to the morning. I have to kind of be quick again today because today we start Ornamentally Yours. Where's the sign for that? Right here. We'll talk about that momentarily. If I don't have these little signs, I don't know what I'm doing. Really. My life is just poof up in the air. So welcome to the morning show with me, Lindsay. I don't, we should have a name for this show. The Lindsay Show? Lindsay Live? I should say something. Good morning, Vietnam. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, creatorofcuteness.com is my website. That's where you can find all my classes, collage elements, all the goodies. Um, so bookmark this page for goodness sakes. For goodness sakes. Yesterday we did spring. I don't remember what we did. Flowers, right? We'll look at it in a minute. Today is March Madness Basketball, and I almost thought I'm not going to do that, but I am. I'm going to do March, Ma March Madness Basketball. Seems crazy to me. Um, April is coming, and we are going to do a whole entire month of card making or tags to use on cards or collage clusters, anything that we can make to go with a card or a letter or something that you would send to somebody. Do you know what I mean? So I can't necessarily say that what you're gonna want fully is all cards and envelopes, but um, maybe cards and envelopes, maybe tags, maybe gift cards, maybe collage clusters. This was created for us by Rebecca Swayze. I hopefully will post this today. Let me put it here in my pile. So April um, classes should, or uh, prompts should be up hopefully today. If all goes well. Oh. Hi, Susan. Hi, Pam. Who did I miss? Carmen, Linda, Denise, Jan, Cynthia, Linda, Palma. Hey. Okay. Um, ornamentally yours is the next one that I am doing today. Today starts Ornamentally Yours. It's a free, 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 free class with me and lots of other ladies. Let's see if I can tell you, everybody. There is Chamel from the UK. There is Lydia Balthazar from Mexico City. There's me. There's Michelle Hamilton at Girlfriends Make Art. There's Rebecca Swayze. There is Jeannie Dickinson. There is Candace Ann. No Ash Noel. She's traveling. I'm sure I'm missing somebody. I'm sure I am. But that's what I remember oh, so far. Anyway, that's it. So I'm up first at 10 a.m. So if you're not part of Ornamentally Yours, you should join the group because it's free. The classes are saved if you don't make the live. It's fine. You just go to the guide section just like here and everything will be recorded and saved. So that's that. Journal play day is the uh, only class apparently that I'm shamelessly plugging right now because I don't have a new, I don't have a new thing for book club. I better make a note for that. Make 
new book club flyer. Wait, there should be one more book club. Oh, did I put my book club flyer away? Oh dear, well, oh dear, oh dear. We won't we won't shamelessly plug that for a while. Okay. Carmen says there's always a red live button. There's always a red live on the top left corner of the screen. Yeah, I see it. Was somebody asking about that? Oh, I see what Carmen's saying. Hold on. If you want to make sure that you're in the live, do you see this red flashing thing up there that says live? That's how you know you're live. If that's not there flashing red, sorry, that was really too close. It got very blurry. But anyway, that's how you know you're live. If that ain't there, mama ain't happy. So we're doing journal play day the 13th quarter for April 6th, May 4th, and June 1st. If you sign up now, you get it all for $25 for the three months. That's $8.33 a month. If you sign up later, you're in big trouble because you still get it for $25 for three months. And what we do, <clears throat> excuse me, is we make a new signature journal each month. We, uh, you guys get one to three pieces of art each month. Sometimes you get five or six or seven or eight. Um, we get new journaling blocks for each month and you get tons of creative inspiration, including a little tutorial from me. We do about an hour of uh, get together for journal play day here on Facebook. So this is the artwork that you'll get for April. This one, which I really like. This one, which I also really like. Uh, these are the journaling blocks that you get that you can use to journal what is going on in your world. Um, so those are fun. Then you get collage elements this month. You get the butterflies says embrace your wings and then you get um i guess i should turn this this way so it's going the right direction you get scallops you get fly with your own wings border you get butterfly border and you get a floral border but every month i do different things except for the background pages you seem to always now as of this year you get the background pages sometimes you just get borders sometimes you just get doodles you know, different stuff. Mix it up, right? Oh, and then, <laughs> how about a giveaway? I got to make myself a little note. Who wants to win? My sister-in-law came over yesterday or they came up here. And she was, they're cleaning out their house to move and she doesn't want these anymore. So she gave them back to me. I don't want them either. Um, she thought I might like them because there's pictures of my kiddos in here and her kiddo, uh, not her kiddos, but my kiddos. There's me with bleach blonde hair. Um, but these are the books that my ex-partner and I used to make. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's, oh, there, there's my little Riley. And there's little Michaela. But I already have these. There's Riley and there's Curtis. Let's see if I can see anybody else in here in the woods. Mostly this one has Vicky's kids. Oh, there's my Bailey. There's my Riley. There's my Curtis. We're planting. There's Brent. That's funny. So anyway, I'm giving this one away. And the other one, there's me, there's Vicky. So this is called rounded up because we used to make these rulers that were round rulers and flat rulers. And then all of these rulers that um, we made rulers, lots of them. And then this one's called pop it up. I think I'll do two giveaways. I'm not sure. I think I'll do two. And this one is doing pop up scrapbook pages. This has mostly my kids in it because I don't think Vicki did a lot of these pages. Yeah. Lots of pop-up pages because we had a pop-up die cut. This is my Easter one. So cute with Mrs. Grossman's stickers. Do you see the bunny and all the stickers? This was like the 
grand dame of the pop-up pages. Um, I still have all these, so I don't know why I need the book. I don't need both. So we'll give it away. So how can you win this book? I think we're just going to do it as part of this live. So those of you that are here, um, you can't post here. Because for some reason, you can't see the comments unless I watch an entire hour of a video again. So when I share a picture of my pages today, you're going to write um, uh, Brent says Brent says use pop dots. That's the key. That's the secret. But you can only win if you uh, have attended the live and know about this. Okay, so I'm going to do two giveaways two giveaways and I will announce giveaways and we'll announce Monday. What day is that? Today's the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Monday, March. If I don't write this down, I forget. So two giveaways. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to comment uh, where I share our March Madness basketball page today. Okay. So let's go back to our prompts because I know you guys saw this puppy here. So today is March Madness. Tomorrow, which is Saturday, I have Atticus all day, so I'm not going to have a chance to do it. So I pre-did my page for tomorrow. Uh, it's puppy day. But because our whole theme uh, for the next few prompts are bunnies, I decided to do a dog with... a. Uh, you know, rabbit ears, and it says, everybody wants in on bunny season, right? I just thought I would pre-do that. Super simple, all done, except for one little part I wanted to do here on her little um, headband. <clears throat> she bought this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar because everybody needs a bunny headband, right? So that is for tomorrow's. Today is going over here. And I think we'll put our bunny here. Can you guys all see? So we're just going to draw a bunny today. And I think I'm going to draw her or him kind of sideways. I don't know. Kind of a roundish head. Your ears can be round ovalies or they can be squared off like this guy's ears. <coughs> oh, the dollar twenty-five store. Patricia says Cadbury bunnies. That's so funny. So this bunny has to have a jersey because it's March Madness, right? And her number or his number it doesn't matter to me if this is a boy or a girl his number has to be on the jersey and then basketball shorts which are rectangles with a stripe here on the bottom i don't really like this sideways so let's start over i think it has to be straight up and down I still need padding under here. Ah, that's going to work perfectly. I was downstairs today and I meant to grab my pencil board, but I did not. Patricia says, I usually don't follow March Madness, but our local university, Oakland U, is something. Must be that they're in the playoffs. I have no idea. I don't, we don't do basketball in this house, period. So me drawing basketballs today is something else. All right, let's go back to our jersey. Jersey. Shorts. Um, one arm's got to be dribbling. Or maybe watching a basketball spin. 
Oh my goodness. There's a basketball. This arm can be dribbling maybe. And then big feet. Bunnies do not wear tennis shoes on the courts. They just have feet. Okay, there's our bunny dribbling a ball. And we're gonna have several balls. And they're gonna bounce over here to the doggy who loves balls. Doggies love balls. Patricia says, beat Kentucky. Okay. Go, Kentucky. Go, go, Kentucky. Um, so let's go back to the dog. He became very fluffy here with kind of a scratchy. And then his ears were um, just little tick marks because they're just the ears that you buy at the dollar store. I have two places I need to erase. So our bunny, I think we're going to go scratchy. So that's how you do scratchy. It's not hard. It's just kind of scratchies. Do you see how I'm kind of scratching, kind of shaking as I draw? And they don't even have to be full lines. You know what I mean? but this makes him a very fluffy bunny rather than having a straight line for his um, or her. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Basketball uniforms are very unisex. Round eyes, big nose. I think I got to continue his furry part here and then go down for the basketball jersey. We're gonna give this guy's team a name. Boy, I, I hate writing letters. Does anybody else hate writing, I mean letters, numbers? I just don't feel that I draw numbers very good. I think it's because I don't draw them very often. <clears throat> so my day went okay yesterday for you guys that were here yesterday, yesterday for my meltdown when my husband said we had to leave the house to go over to my mother to see my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Well, I did okay. I took work with me. So I sat there and I did work. But it was very stressful because I had to make a phone call to my brother yesterday. And for the first time since I can remember, my brother sounded halfway normal. Like he almost understood what I was telling him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he's on uh, anti-weird medication. That is the ugliest too, but whatever. It's not horrible. So I was very stressed out because of that fact. Um, but it went okay. That's not a bad 28. Oh, Linda says you could make the balls egg-shaped. That's really cute. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. So when I was like probably 20 pounds thinner than I was today, which was about six months ago, we bought uh, me a pair of basketball shorts to wear around the house. I loved wearing them, but they're like a man's XXL. And yeah, I can't even fit into them anymore. Melissa, this is a fine tip. <clears throat> All along, I thought this was an extra fine tip nib, but this green one is the extra fine tip. I realized they're a little different. And I, I can't even tell you why I ordered a fine. But for my white 
ink. Oh gosh, you guys, look. The white ink came yesterday. Oh, this is what Carmen used in her um, classes when I was gone. And um, it writes like a Posca pen. It's amazing. So I've got to wait for my pen to come in, but this came from Goulet Pen Company. It's called D. Atramentis. Atramentis. Whatever. From Goulet. Came yesterday. But I'm buying a new pen just for it. Those are some furry feet. I wonder why he doesn't slip on the court. This one is in the wrong place. I don't really draw eggs, Linda. Linda said do the balls as eggs, and then I realized I don't really draw eggs. I'm not good at drawing eggs. And I don't even like drawing Easter eggs as much. I don't really like the shape of an egg, so... I did buy some great eggs yesterday from a lady locally who has 24 chickens and the most beautiful colored eggs you ever saw. So pretty. Jewel says, I ordered my pen too. The pen is on its way. And Carmen says, no, you can change, you can use a needle thing to put in the cartridges. I don't know what that means. And Christy says, I was noticing you don't do many eggs. Maybe we'll do one or two here. Without getting into a very religious discussion, could somebody tell me if there's a reason behind eggs and Easter? There's my basketball. So he'll hold that one and let's try to do this. Is that an egg shape? Oh, God. Not really. But it'll be a basketball. New life. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Christy. Let's try to make a better egg here. <laughs> I'm just not good at drawing egg shapes. Isn't that funny? Well, maybe not funny. Maybe we'll do over by the doggy, more of an egg shape. I just don't like, I don't like even decorating the egg part. I don't like anything about it. So let's erase this and we'll have the eggs spilling over here instead of balls. That is a much better egg shape. All right, happier now. Maybe not that one. These are like those sponges that you use on your makeup part of your face. <laughs> Oops, sorry. But it makes a good basketball transformation from a basketball to an egg, I guess. But this is a good egg. Anyway, so this lady who has 24 chickens and sells these most beautiful eggs, her chickens give her seven dozen eggs a day and so she's going to start an emailing list now so that I can get on her list. And when the chickens lay the eggs, she'll let me know so she can, um, I'll meet her and I can get some fresh eggs. Because gosh darn it, are they beautiful. All right, so here's what I want to do with these eggs. We're going to make them hop. You know, like they're bouncing like a basketball. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
kind of like that. This one I just want to go away. <laughs> because it looks so weird. Could it just go away? Could I maybe cut out an egg and put it on top? Because the bunny came out pretty cute. The basketball's not horrible. But this monstrosity, oy vey. Lindsay is drawing with a, hold on. Laurel, hi. Lindsay is drawing with a fountain pen, a lot different than drawing with a micron. Oh, is it different? No, it's about the same. The only thing that I have found is that like with a micron, I can hold it down. Whereas with my fountain pen, I hold it more straight up. Whoops, I just got ink on the page. Now, really, this whole area is ugly now that I got ink on the page. What could we do there? How could we fix that? Because these eggs over here with buggy are cute. But what, what was I thinking here? Something's got to, something's got to give. This whole area has to get covered. It's just so ugly. Her, uh, Palma says use pop dots to cover it with a new egg. I don't even want a new egg, quite honestly. I just want the whole thing to go away. I think we'll do a little flip door. I'm using my scoring tool to score a little uh, door so that it opens. Just scoring a line here on one side to make my door open. Now, how do I cover up the egg? Because that is just ugly. Oh, Jennifer says it's her 38th anniversary. You're a year ahead of me. We're at 37. So I have a thought. I just don't have a thought for there. except for paint. <sighs> Let's make this line better, shall we? So I'm thinking it's going to be paint. Hold on. Let's see how this gray does. Is this gray? That is not gray. Well, I guess it has to be pink. <sighs> yeah, no, that, that egg is not staying there. It's awful. I can't even look at it, it's so disgusting. What was I thinking? Sometimes I get these ideas in my head and then you draw them and then you're like, mm, nope. That just didn't work out real well. But a secret door is always a good idea. Just got to get all of it covered. Okay. 
I don't see it anymore. Do you? Thank goodness. Thank goodness it went away. We may need more pink other spots, but let's see. Bye bye, ugly basketball egg. Oh, you can still see it. I got to do another coat. Light pink. That's all I had was pink and white. So do you guys print out your bunnies for the um, Ornamentally Yours class? We're making collage clusters with the bunnies that I provided you guys. So if you're doing Ornamentally Yours, make sure you print out your bunnies. And then I'm doing an egg carton project. I can't remember when that is. I think it's Sunday. So, yeah. And then you just need lots of junk and stuff to create your collage clusters with. You may not have the same things as me, so I don't want anybody to be sad. Just make sure you have a lot of junk and stuff. I don't think that's completely dry. I'm gonna put the white card down, it's gonna get pink on it, and then I'm gonna be in the same boat and go, I wanna redo this whole page. Then I would just start gluing things together. That's dry. Oh man, that egg was really, like these came out looking pretty good. Not bad looking eggs. This is why I like when I do retreats, you never know what's gonna happen because sometimes we'll do it and then go, oh, barf. Oh, barf. No barfing bunnies. Okay, now we have a door. Now what should we do with that door? Hmm? I do not know. I think we'll put a large egg. That's a better shaped egg. That looks like an egg. <sighs> oh, Christy's giving her whole day to crafting today. That's me every day, Christy. So funny. Like when I do these challenges that are 365 days or whatever, like 35 days for a challenge, I'm like, that's a joke because I do this every day. All right. I'm happier now. Let's write on this. My pen doesn't really like this paper. It's bleeding. So. Does madness have two Ds? One D. M-A-D-N-E-S-S, -S, right? Oh, Joan says, oh, those bunnies you did for ornamentally yours are so cute. Thank you. I think they are. I mean, I like every bunny. Every bunny matters. You know? That's what I say. All right, 
So March Madness with an egg, and then we're going to open it. And as long as this is dry, let's wait. Let's wait till it dries a little bit and we'll color in everything. All right, this has to go in the sink, so give me a moment. Gotta put a log on my fire. Hang on. I'm coming back. I'm a coming back. Here I come, ready or not. Okay. We're going to use kid watercolors again. Laura says, I finally get to meet Lindsay. Oh, do you get to go, Laura? Congratulations. Good for you. We've met, though, because I looked at your picture. I know I've met you before, like back in the day. I went brown for my bunny today. I was going to go gray. I changed my mind. It's my prerogative. Uh, I like the pink in here better. Wait, what does this say? Tina says, my youngest son is in second when... My youngest son in second grade was a play called Running Bunnies. They wore clean room suits, whatever that is, bunny ears, and the main character was Michael Jackrabbit. <laughs> that child was dressed in a leather jacket. I filmed it so I could watch it again. Just brought back memories. Oh, that's so funny. Michael Jackrabbit. I like that a lot. <laughs> Did he have a sparkly glove? Pink nose. Basketball Jones. I like it better that we only have one basketball. Not being the biggest basketball fan. What um what color? I think yellow. I think yellow is a good color for a jersey. And the shorts. But the stripe will be a different color. Maybe we'll do a darker color yellow. If this is darker, it might be the same color as the bunny. Yeah, almost. So let's add some orange to it. So the shorts are a little bit different color. It's almost bunny color. Oh, we're going different color shorts. And then I think bright pink for the stripe. Denise says, my 70th birthday is Sunday. Is that what you said? Happy 70th, Denise. I bet you don't feel a day over 60, 60, maybe 50. I think we're all, all of us here are pretty young at heart. High in numbers, but young at heart. I don't ever go by numbers. They're just silly. Okay, so let's dye our eggs. I found a new egg dyeing technique we're going to try where I can't even remember exactly how you do it, but I think it was Sharpies and a paper towel and vinegar. And then you wrap the eggs in the paper towel, if I'm not mistaken. 
and then you set the paper towel aside and let them just rest. I think that's what it was. I don't know. Oh, should we make the doggy gray? Maybe. Anyway, I saw it on Instagram, so it might just be a big epic fail. But we usually take a day and dye eggs with Atticus, so he and I may do that tomorrow when he comes to spend the night because my husband is going to be gone. He is not going to be happy that he is just with Bubby and there's no husband and no slot car racing and whatever. That egg did not get colored very pretty. Let's throw some purple in there. Okay. Doggy dog dog. Let's do gray. How do you get gray? Well, you take a little black, not purple. And you don't really even have to add any white, but I usually add a little white just to get it a little lighter. But usually if you just add water, you can tone the colors down. Cute. Then if you want it, him darker, you could add some black into him. So we'll kind of make him splotchy, splotchy doggy. Okay. Terry says, this page is so darn cute. Did you see it before I added the door? Because it was ridiculously ugly. And these are ears that you buy at the dollar store. So they could be any color I wanted to make them. So I think we'll go with brown ears. Because they're not the same color as the dog because he bought these at the dollar store. No luck on the um, wildflower party goods that I was talking about yesterday. No luck there. Let's go back to this bunny and give her or him a few darkness colors. I just love my animals with splotchy colors. You know, I can't even explain why. I just do. This basketball needs a little bit more orange. It needs to be a little brighter. All right. Details. Because it's all in the details. They had that on Jeopardy last night. Um, where's my blues? Have they been lost? They have. We'll use these. Carmen says, I think it gives more depth. Well, that is a very artistic thing of Carmen to say. I'm using blue for outdoors because this bunny is practicing on the courts b-ball back by the school well me and my friends were out by the school we were playing some b-ball out by the school when a couple of kids that were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood i can't remember the whole thing my daughter loved the fresh prince of bel-air which is funny because she was princess jasmine and ariel all the way Except when it came to the Fresh Prince. And we listened all the time to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. If 
dostane ich. Okay, now we disguised our door. Let's get the heat tool. Lana says, probably alcohol with Sharpies. For the Easter eggs? No, no, no. It was definitely vinegar. No alcohol was involved. No. <laughs> Funny. Let me turn my iron on. Hey, am I the only one that irons my pages in this group? Do you guys iron your pages when you're done? Because look at all that crinkly. There's a lot of crinkle to this. So I saw this morning, I don't know if it's true, so don't get up in arms over me. But I saw this morning, it could have been an AI picture because a lot of things now are AI and it's not true. But I saw that Tina Fey, Lisa Kudrow, and a couple of other uh, actresses are redoing Golden Girls and that it will be on Disney in June. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because I think it's not a good thing. I'm going to iron. I'll be right back. Yeah, I ripped my page right there, but it's okay. Nope, nobody's going to care. Anyway, I don't know if that's true or not, but I just, I just think it's going to be a disaster. I do. Sparkle Pops to the rescue! Da -da 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 -da. Sparkle Pop! Look what happened here and here. The whole thing got smeary. It's okay, I can fix it. We have the technology. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scribble scrabble over the back area, just in the spots where we had a little accident because we can fix anything. You know why? Because we are madness. Just covered that spot up, covered those spots up. Just going to go right through the center here. Our pink is still intact. I don't know why it wouldn't have been. But scribble scrabbling all through the page. Woof. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. We were talking to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law yesterday about they're saying, oh, so what dog are you going to get when Charlie's gone? And I'm like, you don't just lose a child and then replace it. I said, we will never get another dog. And they're laughing at me. And I'm like, Charlie is irreplaceable. I don't ever want another dog like Charlie. So I would never get another dog. Even if I could be guaranteed that it would be the perfect dog and pay, you know, breeders fees and stuff i just think we're done with dogs i really do i think the the doggy in us has left my husband really wants chickens and i said no 
but that's his life, not mine. Uh, because if you get chickens, who's going to watch those if we go away on vacation? It's bad enough when we have to put Charlie in a kennel in a doggy place where he's happy. What? Do, where do you put your chickens? I don't think that's a good idea. What time is it? Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. All right, so here's what we're going to do with our eggs. And then we have to write something inside the door. We're just going polka dot eggs. I love the sound of this paper after it gets wet and then is crinkly. Makes me very happy. What else should we talk about? I don't know. Oh, I lose all the lines when I fill in with a sparkle pop. You lose all your detail. But that's okay. It's still cute. It's a cute doggy. Cute little doggy. Two people, Renata, sent me a link for that Bjorn lady, whatever her name is, the German lady that does the sales of the cuteness stuff. People just keep sending me links for her to go look. They're like, you would love this. I'm like, I've already seen it and I love it. And I would like to have it here in America, but that's not gonna happen. She's not shipping to America. It's the cutest stuff ever. It reminds me of if anybody's been around this industry in this world long enough to know about Daisy Kingdom. Do you remember Daisy Kingdom out of Portland, Oregon, where everything matched? The fabric matched the little purses and doll clothes and pencils and everything. Daisy Kingdom was so cute. Really cute. <clears throat> Do I not have a gold here? Renata said, did she tell you that? No. Uh-uh, no, I haven't heard a word from them. But I'm assuming they're not shipping to America. I told this story before, but I was on a cruise with a lady who worked for Daisy Kingdom. It was one of my very favorite stories. We scrap a cruise down to the Mexican Riviera. <clears throat> and I am deathly sick on cruises, so I don't do real well. But this, the, you know, these ladies, these people took the cruise just to be with me and my partner, Vicky. So I had to, I had to put on a happy face and be there for these people. So they put our class down in the basement of the boat, you know, all the way in the bottom where their conference rooms are. And I was never so sick in my whole life. I had to keep excusing myself to go outside and throw up and then come back in and teach because I was being paid to teach. So I didn't have a choice. So anyway, I befriended this little lady who, it was her first time on a cruise. It was her first time out in the world without her husband who passed away. And the way she looked at it was good riddance. See you later, buddy. She said she was married her whole life, worked at Daisy Kingdom pretty much her whole life lived in a little podunk town in Oregon, and her husband, she was a subservient wife. And even though she loved him, she was waiting for him to die. You know, the saddest story and the happiest story. So she had booked this scrapbooking cruise, a knitting cruise, and a quilting cruise, like almost the minute after he died. It made me laugh so hard that this lady was just waiting for him to kick the bucket so she could get out in the world and do her own thing. She said, I am spending every penny that he put aside on me. It was just, she was the cutest. So when we got to um, 
Cabo Wabo. We went to uh, Sammy Hagar's Cabo Wabo Cantina. And we got so drunk. She and myself and Vicky, and she told us just the craziest stories about her and her husband. And we barely made it back to the boat on time. I just hope she's had the most fun in the latter part of her life because she wasn't a young lady. She was older then. Um, and I just hope that everything was so much fun for her. So cute, right? She just had the best time. All right, let's do our numbers in our bun bun. We're gonna go pink. Inside the pink. Pink. Maybe the shorts should be striped. I think so. Denise says, that is the worst place to be on the ship. That happened to me, and people said, I really did turn green. Yeah, I think you would. I had the patch. I had a wristband thing. I had stuff behind my ears. I was popping Dramamine like there's no tomorrow, and I will never, ever go on another cruise. I had, but we had booked two. So I had to complete both of them because my family got to go on the cruise for free. So, I mean, you just do what you got to do at that point. You just press on. I was on a cruise with Debbie Boring. Debbie, who's in this group. Debbie, are you here today? Because Debbie loves to tell the stories that we had dinner with the coasters or the platters. Or maybe the platters were on the table for the food and we ate with the coasters. I don't remember. <clears throat> Debbie loves to tell that story. Because she went on a Making Memories cruise with us. With the magazine Making Memories. All right. Well, so we're to here. So I wanted that to dry really good so it didn't ruin my pen. And we have March Madness <clears throat> on the cover. And we're going to write, it's it's madness. That we have, yeah, my pen is not liking this. And I'm also shaky. St. Patrick's Day. Basketball. And Easter. There's no Passover this month, right? All in one month. March Madness. Dot, dot, dot. I got to clean this pen tip because I just got acrylic paint in it. Hang on a sec. There we go. Uh, yeah, I almost think I'm done. Let's add some big dots to the top of the sky. Well, this is a story all about how my life got twisted upside down. 
Wish I knew the words to that. I would sing it right now. The only other song I know about basketball is Basketball Jones. Basketball Jones. And that's all I know. I don't know how it goes. Is there any other basketball songs? Oh, shout out to my daughter-in-law. Everybody tag Nora Beth here. I'm going to tag her. Uh, happy birthday. Today is her birthday. Nora Beth Ostrom. Happy birthday, Nora Beth Ostrom. Okay, I think we're done. Can't really see white. It's just too, too not bright enough. So we have a double page spread. We have our basketball bunny. We have March Madness and it says, it's madness that we have St. Patrick's Day, basketball and Easter all in one month. That makes me so much happier than that ugly egg that was there. Oh, I know what I need to do. Just a couple of little things. Just some grass tufts. So the eggs don't look like they're just sitting on the basketball court. You know? much happier because he's playing outside grass tufts okay now i'm done it is friday yay friday so here's what we did we did basketball jones um Spinning his Harlem da Harlem Harlem Davidson no Harlem Globetrotters ball on his thumb. We have a egg, March Madness, and we have our door that opens and closes because I drew the ugliest egg possible here. We covered it up, and then it goes over here to tomorrow's prompt, which is everybody wants in on bunny season, and it's got a little puppy dog with bunny ears. Carol Hodges is here. Carol Hodges, are you really back? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to see you. Carol got hacked very badly, so she had to wait and come back. Oh yeah, let me remind you of the giveaway. So here we go. Ornamentally Yours is next at 10 a.m. Starts today at 10 a.m. That's how I just ruined that paper. And then we're doing that giveaway. Where are my books? I'm going to give away two books today, a pop-up, pop-it-up book and a rounded-up book. And the way you're going to win, if you want to win, is by commenting, Brent says use pop dots when I post the picture of today's page, which will look like this. Okay? So that's it. I'm out of here. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. Bye.